hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are older thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to walk you through on how to design a fashion boutique flyer so before any further ado let's get started then go to new then i'm going to use 4 by 4 inches make your resolution at 300 then you click on great so here is going to be our working area i'm going to use a gradient fill then copy this color here 180026 then paste the color here then go back again to your test document and copy this color code then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then increase the opacity to 70%. Then you click OK. Then I'm going to create a cycle. Make it big. Then position it at this location. Then duplicate it. Ctrl plus J. Hold down your Alt key while you drag it. Then paste this color. So this is the background color. Now this add my resource file. Then I'm going to position this background here. Then grid a clipping mask. Then I'm going to reduce the opacity. Then it's okay like this. This is 62. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then scale it out. Position it at the top here. Then reduce the font size. Scale it a little. Then I'm going to drag the image backward. Then select the rent angle while you drag it back. Then drag the image back. Position it this way. Alright. Now I'm going to apply a drop shadow on the test. Then my distance is 4, the spread is 6, and the size is 6. I'm going to leave it that way. Then now I'm going to use this as a sample for logo. This is not a logo, but I'm just using it as a logo so you can make use of your own logo. Then I'll position it over there. Now I'm going to copy this test here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then centralize it. Reduce the font size. Then drag it up here. Reduce the font size. It's okay like this. Now position it over here. Then I reposition the logo. Now I'm going to select this one. Then I group it. Ctrl plus G. That is my logo. Now I'm going to create a polygon. Make it straight. Then I'm going to leave it this position. Now, reduce the size. Okay. You can still reduce the size. Then duplicate it. Hold your Alt key while you drag it in. Alright. 
Now select the two polygon, then and drag it up. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then Y, I will now move this two up here. Position it well. Then I'm going to duplicate it again, Ctrl plus J, or you drag it over where you see me dragging it to. That is to duplicate it. Then I'll position this one around here. Make it straight. Now hold your shift key while you select it all. Then I'm going to duplicate it. Now, then I'll drag it and position it over here. Okay. Now hold your shift key while you select it all. Then group it. Control plus G to group. Then use your arrow key to move it up. All right. Then I'll change that color to black. Then I'm going to import the image I'm going to use. Then reduce the size. Then create a clipping mask. Now reduce the size. Then something like this. Good. Now click on this one again. Then you go back to your resource file. Then and I'm going to import this one. Reduce the size. Then increase it. Let it fit in the polygon. Then I'm create a clipping mask. Then I'm going to click on this polygon. Then import this image, reduce the size, fit it in that rectangle. Then create a clipping mask. Also import this fashion here. Then I'm going to position it to fit the polygon. Click OK. Then right click and create a clipping mask. Then I will reduce it a little. Then all you drag it down so that it will not bring more border to the background. So you have to maintain your border. Position it to fit in the background there. Then right click and create a clipping mask. Good. Alright. So now for the last one, then you click on the background there. Then import your image. So if you have any fraction image, then you can make use of your own fashion image. So all this one I'm using it as a sample for tutorial so you can make use of your own faction image then i'm going to reduce the size so that it will not occupy much space okay then i'm going to draw a shape rectangle over here then change the color then apply a shape there something like this then reduce the opacity then here i'm using 56 percent for the opacity then i'm going to copy this test here ctrl plus c to copy then select your select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste and I'm going to change the font to Bebas then increase the font size and drag it to position it over here then copy this one Ctrl plus C to copy 
Then select your text to Control plus V to paste. I'm going to change the font there to Lato. Then make it semi bold. You can still use bold anywhere you want. Then I'll position it here. Increase the font size. Then I'm going to change the font color. So this is the font color code. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I change that background to black. Then I'm going to copy this text here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then duplicate this text here. That is Ctrl plus J to duplicate and paste it. Then increase this font size. Then go back to your test. I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font color to white. Then reduce the font size. Then I'll position it around here. Then make it all cap. And reduce the font size. Then duplicate Ctrl plus J. Or you hold your Alt key while you drag it. Then select your test in your test document and copy. Then double click to highlight Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to create a bullet that is a kind of shape. Then I'll position it around here, reduce the size. Then use your arrow key to move the test. And this is what this is what I want. Now I'm going to duplicate them. Now I'm going to duplicate this one. Control plus J. Then I'll move it over here. Okay. Then I'm going to increase this test here. Okay. Then I'm going to draw another rent angle shape here. Then position it this way. Then apply this orange color or yellow color. Then group this one. So I would like to group the test over here so that the present one I'm working on now, I'm not going to mix it up with the test. Then duplicate it. Then increase it while you hold your shift key. Then I'll leave it at this position. Okay. Now I'm going to select the two rectangle while using my arrow keys to move it up. Then copy your contact number. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the color to this background color. Then change the font to Lato. Then make it bold. Then drag it over here. And reduce the font size. Then go to your resource file. I'm going to import this contact icon. Reduce the size. Then I'm positioning it at the center. All right. Now I'm going to select it. Hold down your shift key. 
then you group it then duplicate it ctrl plus j then i'll drag this one over here okay then hold your shift key i'm going to select the two and duplicate it again ctrl plus j then i'll now drag it down like this then i'm going to change it one by one then i'm going to delete the contact icon and here i'm going to replace it with this histogram icon reduce the size and position it at the center then also change the text here to your histogram username then also do the same thing here and the rest Okay, so we are done with the arrangement then i'm going to draw a rent angle shape here then duplicate it like this now i'm going to duplicate them I'm going to remove the fake color and apply a stroke color. Then increase the size to 4%. Then I'm going to drag and position it like this. Then do the same thing to the second one. Turn off the fake color and apply a stroke. Then change the color to this orange or yellow color and increase the size to 4%. Position this one by the right side here. Okay, now I'm going to select all, then group it, Ctrl plus G, then rotate and turn it, position it around here. Then I'm going to select the white background and reduce the opacity, something like this. All right. Then I'm going to duplicate it. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then position it over here. Then flip it vertical and horizontal. So this is the outcome of it. So now we are done with the design and don't forget to join the membership France. So while we are renaming the grouping, please remember to join the membership France. Your help will take me a long way by following me my membership page. Please assist and donate in the membership so that you will have all the resources i'm going to give to the membership fans thank you so much for following i really appreciate for staying with me and if you are yet to subscribe please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my video thank you so much i really appreciate so that is all for today's tutorial